Armed American Radio's Daily Defense. Armed American Radio's Daily Defense, because they don't want me to, that's why I do it. Presented by X Insurance. X Insurance. From the gunbroker.com studios. On the Crossbreed Holsters Platinum Microphone. They're never going to stop us here. It's 2021, and we're in a new decade. Here is your host, the loudest conservative voice in America fighting the enemies of freedom, Mark Walters. Walters. Welcome inside Armed American Radio's Daily Defense at <laughs> the gunbroker.com studios. I am Mark Walters filling your prescription for freedom today on the Crossbreed Holsters microphone. Every bit of this brought to you today by X Insurance. I was just having a text exchange, by the way, with X Insurance while I was talking with Greg during the break before the, the show began about uh, banners and stuff. I, and that just reminded me, and here's why. Because X Insurance and myself will have dueling booths at the NRA convention this year in Houston. And if you're going to be there, you're going to want to stop by and meet us and shake our paws. That's why we're going. Okay. And also Monday, and I don't know the date, or not Monday, Saturday, excuse me. Today's Monday, Saturday, of the weekend of the NRA convention, which is Labor Day weekend. That's Saturday from 3 p.m. until 5 p.m. Myself, A.W.R. Hawkins from Breitbart News. Rick Lindsay from the CEO of X Insurance, Tommy from X, and a number of others. You never know who else is going to pop by, but we're going to be there meeting and greeting you at the NRA convention. That's Saturday from 3 to 5, so that's going to be an awful lot of fun. Make sure that you can be there. If you're going to go, make sure to stop by. You're not going to want to miss it, I promise you. We will miss Alan Gottlieb there this year, but we'll make up for it. We'll try to by doing a whole bunch of other meet and greets. You heard, if you were listening to the Monster Cast yesterday, Jessica Jarvis from North American Arms will be popping by. We'll be stopping over at that booth. We'll be at Crossbreed and our own, and I will be taping both probably two days of this show from the convention because we get an opportunity to see so many people there that we can't normally get, and the Sunday Monster Cast. So if you stop by, I might mic you up because I will be talking to a number of you on the air. It'll be a lot of fun. I will keep you posted with more dates and times as we get closer and closer, but that convention is coming up quickly. We are already over a week into August, so in about one month from now, we'll be in Houston. Can't wait for that. Daniel Defense Giveaway, five more days. Have you jumped in yet? Armed American News, armedamericanradio.com.org. Take your pick, either site. Click on the Daniel Defense banner. If you're watching on your television screen right now, here's the banner that you're looking at. You'll notice it says, Secret Code, Patriot. Click on the banner, go to the Daniel Defense site, and win that M4A1. Absolute workhorse, one of the finest rifles made anywhere in the world ever. Ask the guys and gals kicking indoors on our team that are carrying this very rifle. They'll tell you the same thing. You've heard us talk about it here before. It's the rifle I just bought about 15, 16 days ago, and I've you know, got a 90-day build, so I'm waiting to get it with bated breath. Believe me, you can win it. If you enter the code PATRIOT, you get 1,000 entries. No other group comes close to Armed American Radio. We want an Armed American Radio fan to win this rifle. Let's go now to our guest for the hour, Paul Markle, student of the gun and all around just satellite radio moment word guy. Paul, how you doing, brother? Uh, I'm just dandy. I'm drinking a little bit of tea with honey and lemon because the the fire smoke from California, has uh, the western winds are blowing it in on us here. Yeah, California's always invading you guys out there. You're in Wyoming. Why don't you tell everybody? I mean, if it ain't them moving in, it's their smoke coming to get you, right? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, as bad as it was a couple of years ago, you remember when they, when their utility company started all those fires? Coincidentally, in the exact same place that they wanted to put the monorail. Oh, isn't that fun? Is it, you think that's coincidence? That? Uh, it's just it's just a happy a happenstance, but. Uh, well, you, wait, hold it. Let's talk that. about coincidences. Let's talk about happenstances. You brought it up. Do you think it's a coincidence that Fauci was ragging all over Sturgis but never said a peep about King Obama and the overlords and the hundreds of people that were unmasked and dancing around all over that goofy place, including the CNN commentator that said, well, you know, the difference is that they were very sophisticated vaccine takers. Really? Is that yeah, oh, yeah. You didn't hear that, did you? Well, well, no, but uh, over yeah, a, a true. plane load of, of, of communists from plane load of communists from Texas posing for pictures, not one mask amongst them. 
But if mm-hmm. you get on a plane, you have to put your face diaper on for safety. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing, and I think you'll appreciate this. Um, I've got to haul a bunch of equipment to the NRA convention, and I'll tell you right now, there ain't no way I'm hauling it on a commercial airliner, and I'm the guy that's going to get in trouble because I'm not going to show up at the airport with a mask. If they want me to wear one, somebody's going to have to stop me and say, excuse me, sir, you're going to have to put on a mask, to which I'm going to say, if you want me to wear a diaper on my face, you're going to have to provide me one. And I'm the guy that more than likely, if there were 7-Eleven up in the air somewhere, they would stop and kick me off. I don't want the hassle, so I'm driving to Houston for that very reason. Uh, it, you know, unless I have another alternative, which might be possible, but I, I, I simply am not. I, I just, I can't. I, I, it's turned me off to the point right now where I don't know whether I can stay out of trouble. Does that make sense without sounding like a oh, jerk? You, no, you're talking to the exact right person. My, my kids well, I know that. Been to try, to try to get me on an airplane. Uh, and, and, you know, the psycho thing is one year ago, or was it? No, nah, it wasn't one year ago. It was almost psycho circus. <laughs> yeah, I was. No, I was thinking about the last time we were together in Phoenix. Um, yeah. But that was before, was before the, 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 the manufactured Rona panic. So I don't know if you have been keeping up with the news, but uh, since Sniffy Joe and the Democrats decided to just completely and totally capitulate uh, in the global war on terror in Afghanistan, it, the country's imploding. And we're probably going to have another uh, last helicopter out of Saigon moment as the Taliban sweeps in and undoes 20 years worth of blood and treasure. Yeah, you guys realize that? We've been spending 20 years worth of American blood and treasure, and they're going to undo it just like that. Four more cities fell. Months. Four more cities yep. fell to the Taliban over the last three to four days. Um, yeah, I'm up on all this stuff. So this is a conversation I love having. I love having you on the program. I, I'm going to show you this if you're watching the program. This is my Remarkable 2 tablet. It's, it's like a paper, but it's a pad, and it is the coolest thing in the world. But you'll notice it says, Remarkable is out of battery because I don't need it when I'm talking to Paul. It's just sitting here, and I have no notes, no notes, because this is the kind of conversation Paul and I have over a cigar sometimes late into the evenings or when we're together, and you get to benefit from these. They're a lot of fun. Paul, um, that is, you know, again, I, I can't use the words to describe what Sniffy Joe is doing to the country, but when you see what he's done, Overseas, And when you look at, the, well, here's, a, here's a number for you. Did you know that automobile parts are up 7%? You know what's going to happen to the price of an already high automobile in this country because of union wages and oh, everything I, else? Oh, I do know. Oh, I do you, know. What, you, you know, when you look at. I tried to buy a car. What kind? Tell me what kind. Uh, I don't know. He bought a Chevy something SUV. And uh, he thought that he would save some money and get a used vehicle. And he said, Dad, they wanted for, a, well, I think it was a 2017 Tacoma, Toyota Tacoma. They wanted 55 grand. Yeah, and you know, interesting. 58 for, for a brand new one. Well, you know, that's a Tacoma pickup? Yeah. You know, I did my first Dodge Ram. Funny story. This true story. The true story. My wife was pregnant with our son. And I had a beautiful brand new BMW 500, 525 or 530, I don't remember, but it was gorgeous. You walked by it, you could smell the soft Corinthian leather. Those of you old enough remember that, I won't tell you. But it was just gorgeous. I love that car. I miss driving that car every day. That thing was so fun to drive. The suspension was so cool. But I remember on a Saturday, because entrepreneurs work seven days a week, and I would go into my office on Saturdays at least until noon, make sure all the trucks were dispatched, paperwork is in order and ready to go for Sunday or for Saturday's work, or excuse me, for Monday's work. And I remember my wife rolling over to say, she said to me, first thing she said to me in the morning was, I think we need to get a minivan. I didn't respond. I got up. I took this beautiful three-week, four-week-old car, five-week-old car, I don't know, a month. I had maybe no less than eight weeks. And I drove it to Bob Wilson Dodge on North Florida Avenue in Tampa, which was two blocks south of my office, and traded it in. And I was right side up several thousand dollars in the vehicle, and I traded it in on a, on a Dodge Ram pickup truck that day. When I got home from work, I said, there's your minivan. That's as close as I'll ever get to that. But at that time, that Dodge Ram, which was not a 4 by 4 the guy said to me, I got one that's 4 by 4 do you want it? I go, dude, are there any hills around here? He said, no. 
I said, I don't need a four by four in Florida. I looked to regret that when I eventually moved to Georgia and found out it snowed around these parts from time to time. But that thing was 34,000 out the door with the trade back in the day. And that was in 2004. It was a 2004 truck. Today, the one I have new on the lot is over 65 grand, dude. Doubled in price. Mm -hmm. That's fixing to go up, Paul. That's fixing to go up. Everything is. Yeah, it's going to get bad. We're going to talk with Paul Markle about some more fun stuff. I can't wait to get into the Cuomo realm of things with Paul. And we'll tie it all back to your gun rights, I promise, because it's all tied together. Everybody we're talking about is part of the ideology that hates your guts and wants your guns. We'll be back with Paul Markle, student of the gun, right after this. The professor, don't go away. America was founded through the blood of hard-fighting, hard-drinking men. Men who believed in freedom and whiskey, who laid down their lives and their fortunes forging the bedrock of this republic, and in doing so created a new species of man, the American. Lead Slinger's Whiskey was founded by seven combat veterans who were tired of people afraid to support the Second Amendment. Together, they brought their love of American bourbon whiskey to freedom-loving, like-minded Americans. For more information and to read the story of Lead Slinger's Whiskeys and Rum, visit LeadSlingersWhiskey.com today. AAR self-defense fans, I am extremely excited to be introducing you to the latest, most effective, non-lethal self-defense product I think I've ever seen. It's called the Defense Alert Device, or the DAD, by Tiger Light. When I saw this device, I immediately reached out to the owner. At only 5 inches long and 4.6 ounces, this thing can be openly carried in the palm virtually everywhere. My 18-year-old daughter now carries this thing, as does my wife, consisting of a chemical spray and a powerful 5-mode blinding light. The DAD, when activated, also sends an alert and your GPS location to any of your contacts anywhere in the world, alerting them to your situation. This thing is life-saving and can be carried by anybody, hiking, leaving work, whatever the situation. Check out the Tiger Light, the Tiger Light at TigerLight.net. Use the promo code AAR15 and get 15% off. The first 20 that do that will also get free shipping. This thing is the real deal. My kid carries it. I trust it. You can trust it. TigerLight.net. AAR15. Take 15% off. First 20 of you get free shipping. It's well known that we live in a world where even good police officers can become targets for frivolous lawsuits. At X-Insurance, we provide liability insurance for police officers to eliminate your exposure and to protect you. We're the very best at what we do, and we've been doing it for more than 40 years. We offer same-day quotes and solutions, so call us today or have your insurance agent call us. But call today, and let's get that target off your back. For more information, visit xinsurance.com. That's xinsurance.com. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my new product, My Slippers. They took me over two years to develop because I didn't want just an ordinary slipper. My Slippers are meant to be worn all day long, no matter what you're doing, whether you're inside or outside. My Slippers come with an exclusive three-tier cushioning system that you won't find in any other slipper. It combines two layers of foam, including my proprietary My Pillow foam and a patented impact gel made from U.S. soybeans. My three-tier cushioning system is going to help relieve pressure points, provide that micro support you need for all day comfort and help prevent fatigue. Not only that, my slippers are made with high quality leather and a premium indoor outdoor sole that make them extremely durable. I personally guarantee they're going to be the most comfortable slippers you'll ever own. Hey, it's Mark and you know Mike supports the right to keep and bear arms and we support Mike. Please visit MyPillow.com and click on the radio listener specials box and use promo code AAR for all of Mike's great discounts or call 800-978-9358 and remember use promo code AAR. Car, the 25th anniversary K9 and the venerable P9 in various configurations. Magnum Research, the classic Desert Eagle available in 50, 44, 357, and the new 429 DE calibers. The BFR, biggest, finest revolvers, and the Magnum Light. Auto Ordnance, the classics. Thompson, that's right, the Tommy Gun, the incredible M1 carbine, and the one and only classic 1911. Car Firearms, a family of brands standing for your family's freedom. Hey guys, Mark here. No music in the background for this spot. I want you to hear what I'm telling you here. You know from listening to the show that our partner, GunBroker.com, is celebrating over 20 years in business. But what you didn't know is that there are now over 6 million registered users. Think about that for a second. 6 million registered users. And it gets better. There are over 1 million. That's 1 million items listed every single day. Every single day. So I promise you that if you can't find it on your store shelves, you'll find it at GunBroker.com. That's GunBroker.com. Go register. It's 100% free.
This upcoming segment of Armed American Radio is being sponsored by GunBroker.com, the world's largest online marketplace to buy and sell firearms, ammo, and related accessories. That's GunBroker.com. Welcome back to the show. GunBroker.com's got you covered. If you can't find it on your store shelves, you can find it at GunBroker. It is 100% free. Just visit GunBroker.com. And I, I, I have gotten, wow, I have a wish list that's a mile long. Um, I wish I was in a position to just say, I'll take it all. It's a smorgasbord there. Make sure to check out GunBroker.com. You've, you'll find something. And don't blame me. I'm just the messenger. If you buy something, but nonetheless, which I have before, of course, but nonetheless, if you don't want to, if you just want to look at the stuff and peruse it during your breaks or lunch or something like that, it's an awesome place to go, GunBroker.com. And this, of course, is the Crossbreed Holsters microphone. Got to love that. Crossbreed has a sale going on with N8 Tactical Division and Crossbreed. Visit their website, CrossbreedHolsters.com. And don't forget, all of this is presented to you by X Insurance. Come see us. Meet the CEO and hang out with us while we're recording. I might even mic you up at the X Insurance slash Armed American Radio booth at the NRA. And don't forget, Saturday, 3 to 5 at the car booth, and I'll have times for you at Crossbreed and North American Arms as well. And the Daniel Defense giveaway. Please go out and get that Daniel Defense. Try to win that rifle. It's a 1,000 entries. Click the banner on both of my websites, Armed American Radio and ArmedAmericanNews.com or .org. Take your pick and enter the secret code PATRIOT. You get 1,000 entries. Nobody else gets anywhere close to that. I think the best closest to that is 250 entries. So you're four up on them, okay? Make sure to do that. I want to give that away. It, the drawing is on the 14th. You've got five days. Now let's make this happen. Paul Markle, student of the gun. Let's go back to this. You, you want to go ahead and put a, a, a stake in the ground on what we were talking about previously? I'd, you know, I, there's a lot of stuff out here I want to go with. I want to talk with you about the $3.5 trillion budget, um, <clears throat> that joke, which is going to destroy the country. And go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, it, it's just it's just on the ending. somewhere. Pick somewhere. Uh, Let's just go. Uh, brother, I'll tell you what. Let me tell you. Let me give you a good positive uh, and upbeat. Uh, good. This weekend, you know that we, we, we do, we like to do training classes, training courses mm-hmm. up here in Wyoming. And uh, one of, the, one of the, the pillars of our training program is the precision rifle class. Mm-hmm. Because we're in Wyoming and we have the opportunity and we have the ability and the space to shoot. Long, long, long range. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay. At Wyoming, you have open space out there enough to shoot rifle outdoors? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. So, you know, we hosted a class this week, and we hosted our uh, what we call our precision rifle class. And uh, we get people, uh, we, well, we go take them basically from 100 yards as far as their skill, ability, and rifle will take them. And sometimes that's to, you know, 500. Sometimes it's to 8. Sometimes it's to 1,000. And sometimes it's to a mile, uh, just depending. And uh, yesterday we had some of our, our guys that get out to the, the one-mile target. Uh, we had pretty much every, almost everyone got out to the 1,400 target, and everyone did get out to the 1,000-yard target. So, so it was a good time. Nice. And, it, it, you, you know, we had like-minded individuals. You get to engage in camaraderie. Uh, and spend time with like-minded people and, and kind of flush out all the crap um, that's going on in the world, at least for a weekend. Uh, and we fire, we, and to celebrate, we fired a cannon. We fired a... Yeah, uh, very a nice. Bowl, yes, a bowling ball cannon. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Well, it's, if I were you, those... because I've seen your front yard, which is <laughs> basically looks like a Kevin Costner Western, <laughs> okay? Uh, guys, if you've ever seen the movie Wyatt Earp uh, and you look out at that great expanse with the buffalo roaming the plains, that's the view that Paul Markle, student of the gun, has out his front porch. But I, if I were you, I'd put one of those out there and fire one off every night at sundown. I mean, why not? Just do it. You know, that's just cool stuff. I, I'll tell you some fun. Let's, let's talk about long range shooting quickly. Out of bowling. Yeah. Well, you send, some, send your son out to retrieve him or something. Um, well, I can see you on horseback retrieving them, which would be kind of cool. Paul Marco going out to get the bowling balls. Honey, I'm going out to retrieve the balls. See, that would be fun. Paul, I was at Fort Bliss, in, and this is the first time I had an experience with really long-range pistol. And I was out at Fort Bliss in El Paso a number of years ago with my Mexican friends that I was doing a ton of business with out of Juarez. And every time I'd go down there, we'd get out to the range. It was the first time I was out there. And I, I think that berm was out about 100 to 150 yards out. And there was a – it looked like a – the only way I can describe it is it looked like a white plastic lid 
to you know something you'd see at at a, at a construction site, maybe to a to a big thing, a caulk or something, you know, a paint, a big giant plastic paint can that was up against that berm and it shouldn't have been there. So I started firing at that thing with a Glock 17, and I had more fun as I began getting used to the distances walking that thing across that berm. And I got to tell you, I don't get an opportunity around here to shoot at those distances very often, but that's a tremendous amount of fun. Just with pistol, okay, rifle, that's a different story, but it is a ball with pistol. Do you, any, do, you do any long-range pistol shooting just for fun? Uh, I mean, every once in a while, I'll, I'll plank some steel at 100 yards just, just to prove to myself that I can do it. Uh, but out here, right? I don't. Right now, there's there's an ongoing civil war out here between the six five Creedmoor and the six five PRC. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. And well, how is it? Both of them are mile are, are mile cartridges. Right. Uh, well, who's who's going to take it? Know, who's in the lead? I don't. I don't actually. I don't know, but I think the Creedmoor is Creedmoor, uh, just because yeah. it got, it got a head a head start. Uh, Creedmoor would have been my guess. You know, so, yeah, the six Creedmoor is pretty good too. Uh, but it's all man. I tell you what, if you, if you're not going to reload, well, that's that's kind of the gateway drug. Uh, is you start doing it and then you you buy a few and you're like, mm, I should probably reload this stuff. Yeah, Be careful. Yeah, you probably should. Be careful. There's listeners that are jealous. You might bring an influx of residents into Wyoming that you don't want out there. Okay. Well, as long as they bring rifles and good attitudes. Oh, well, that's good. And as long as they're not all coming from California and riding all that smoke out your way. But honestly, there's a big wave of conservatives leaving the blue states now. Both New York, Florida is seeing a, a huge wave of conservatives come in from the Northeast that have just had it. They're fed up. They're done. They don't like being there anymore. They're sick of being treated like second class. They want their freedom back. They're done with face diapers and Murphys and Cuomo's and Gavin Newsom's and Jay Inslee's and whoever else is out there, you know, the rest of these blue states. And Florida right now, Paul, is seeing, according to DeSantis, and I'm going to guess he knows what he's talking about as, as the governor, who loves to stick it right back in Biden's face, by the way. I enjoy watching that. Uh, but he'll tell you that he's seeing right now the, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the, um, for Republicans, four to one, Okay. Right now, the increase in the Republican base is up four to one in the state of Florida. So we could be on the verge of watching Florida. We are on the verge of watching Florida turn back red again, where it should have always been to begin with. Is it possible that that could turn the tide again back in Colorado, (laughs) Wyoming, Ah. Montana? Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. You are assuming you are going to you are you're falling into that trap, my friend. No, I'm not making an assumption. Trap. Those are no, facts no, no, in Florida. No, no. Are the same things happening in it California? Here's matter. the fun part. Okay, here's the fun part. We're getting ready matter. to take a break. Doesn't matter. We're getting ready to take a break. Paul Markle, student of the gun, is with us. When we come back, am I falling into the trap? I, you know, if, if you were listening, if you're watching on your, your television sets or your devices during the breaks, you heard Greg, my producer, win one, no doubt. He, and it was great. Big win for for Greg. Maybe I'll tell you about it when we come back. But either way, Paul's going to tell me whether or not I'm falling into the trap. We'll get an explanation from Mr. Paul Markle, student of the gun. The professor himself is here for the hour. Don't go away. As host of this program, I am proud, very proud, to welcome Daniel Defense to our airwaves. Founded in 2001 by President and CEO Marty Daniel, Daniel Defense is now the world's leading manufacturer of the finest AR-15 style rifles, AR style pistols, bolt action rifles, and accessories for civilian, law enforcement, and military customers. Daniel Defense is a family owned and privately held firearms manufacturer in black at Creek, Georgia, not far from these AAR studios. 20 years of manufacturing freedom has evolved into one of the most respected and recognizable firearms the world has ever seen. All Daniel Defense products carry a lifetime warranty, and the Daniel Defense name remains unmatched in quality, precision, and world-class customer service. To learn more, visit DanielDefense.com. That's DanielDefense.com. 
Hey guys, Mark here, and you know, from listening to the program, you know that our partner, GunBroker.com, is celebrating over 20 years in business, but what you might not know is that there are over 6 million registered users. I want you to think about that for a second. 6 million registered users, and it gets better. There are over 1 million, that's 1 million items listed every single day. I know, you can't find what you're looking for on your store shelves. You're no different than I am. I can promise you that what you can't find, you will find at GunBroker.com. It's real simple. GunBroker.com, go there today, register like I did. It's 100% free. Car, the 25th anniversary K9 and the venerable P9 in various configurations. Magnum Research, the classic Desert Eagle available in 50, 44, 357, and the new 429 DE calibers. The BFR, biggest, finest revolvers, and the Magnum Light. Auto Ordnance, the classics. Thompson, that's right, the Tommy Gun, the incredible M1 carbine, and the one and only classic 1911. Car Firearms, a family of brands standing for your family's freedom. The North American Arms 32 NAA Guardian Pistol, designed in partnership with Convoy Ammunition. The 32 NAA fires a cartridge based on the 380 case, but neck down to hold the smaller 32 bullet. The result is a remarkable gain in ballistic performance that produces more velocity, energy, and stopping power than any conventional 32 ACP, 380 ACP, or 380 ACP plus P. The 32 NAA from North American Arms. For more information, please visit NorthAmericanArms.com. That's NorthAmericanArms.com. Hi, it's Mark Walters, your host of Armed American Radio. If your company sells only the highest quality products and you're looking for a way to reach these listeners, you're talking to the right guy. Armed American Radio has a package available to fit every budget, from startup to the seasoned advertiser looking for that perfect way to reach this massive audience on roughly 250 stations in the top markets in the nation. We're everywhere, and the show continues to explode across the country after 10 years. Together, we can help you reach a highly engaged and extremely knowledgeable audience. To hear your brand on this huge radio program for less than you ever thought possible and to speak directly with me, reach out to CCW Broadcast Media LLC right away at mark at armedamericanradio.org. Mark at armedamericanradio.org. And together, we'll bring your brand to Armed American Radio listeners and keep this powerful voice for gun rights on the airwaves. Again, to speak directly to me, reach out to me at mark at armedamericanradio.org. That's mark at armedamericanradio.org. Defender Coffee was created by patriots for patriots. It's coffee for Americans devoted to defending the Second Amendment. It's coffee for Americans who understand that if you don't fight for your freedom, you lose it. That's why Defender Coffee donates profits to gun rights organizations that fight to defend the Second Amendment. When you drink Defender Coffee, every single cup defends your right to keep and bear arms. Visit DefenderCoffee.com today and get free shipping when you join the coffee club. DefenderCoffee.com. The following segment of Armed American Radio is being brought to you by Defender Coffee. When you drink Defender Coffee, you're making a donation to a gun rights organization of your choice that protects and defends your freedoms. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back. Defender Coffee is a no-brainer. I mean, it really is. You can drink coffee, which you do anyway. Most people do. You can drink better coffee than you can buy at the grocery store, and you can support the Second Amendment Foundation or Gun Owners of America. Take your pick, whatever floats your boat. I support the Second Amendment Foundation with the profits. Every time I drink coffee, I support the Second Amendment. Right this second, I'm drinking water from Publix Grocery Store. Hold on just one second. Oh, it's good and cold, yummy. I didn't want to choke on my snickerdoodle that I was chewing on during the break. Watch us on the cameras if you want to get the, the raw stuff in between the breaks. It's a lot of fun. Let's go back to Paul Markle, student of the gun. Paul, did I fall for the trap? Well, I don't know. Let me tell you what, though. Here's the reality of the situation. We have this bad, bad, bad habit of having short memories in the United States of America going back. Geez, I don't know how far, uh, but at least two decades. We have elections and then we discover fraud and we say, OK, yeah, that was bad. But we're not going to do anything about it because it's over now. So it's no big deal. Nothing we could do about it. And two years later, it happens again. And two years later, it happens again. And ladies and gentlemen, we knew when, after the Trump-Hillary election, we discovered tremendous amounts of fraud, tremendous amounts of voter fraud. And, and we pointed it out on our show every time we had it, you know, every time we had information, every time we had evidence, 97 ballots being mailed to the same apartment, the same yeah. one 
store, you know, one room, one bedroom apartment, 97 ballots mailed. Oh, it's just an accident. Just a clerical error was a mistake. Yeah. People bragging on Facebook that the guy in Ohio posting five I voted stickers saying, don't, don't you worry about it. I took care of that for you. Bragging that he voted five times. A woman in, in uh, Texas who was uh, convicted for voting six times. And these are just, you know, examples and be like, well, it's just a little bad, just a little bad, just a little bit. How much poison do you need to drink? Just a little bit or a lot or, you know, how much do you need? Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming up on the, uh, the, the 2022 midterm elections. And unless we have hardcore voter responsibility changes, unless we have hardcore changes in our voter process, nothing is going to change. It doesn't matter how many registered Republicans there are because the cities are controlled by Democrats and the cities are where they count the votes. Atlanta, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York. Do I need to keep going? It doesn't no, I, you're, matter. you're spot on. I, I'm not Detroit, disagreeing with you. Wayne County. Yeah. It, it doesn't this, matter. It, you say, no, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. It makes, makes no difference. There's so many registered Republicans. Yeah, there were so many registered Republicans last year, and look what happened. That's if true. Pre- but I, I want to say this presidential elections versus, uh, well, you know, all, all politics is local. I'll tell you why I'm optimistic about the House uh, this year, because Nancy Pelosi is so confident. That speaks volumes. That means she's petrified. That means she's attempting to drive the news narrative that the Democrats are just excited about the midterms. They're not excited about the midterms. They're petrified about the midterms. Hence why we still see the fence around the Capitol. Hence why we still see these fake, phony, crybaby, one-six you know, insurrection hearings and the rest of this mumbo jumbo. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We're at, a, we're at a precipice in this country. There's no question about it. We're at a very dangerous place. But I, I will tell you, you think this. They're going to allow the, you think they're going to allow the people to take back the House? You think D.C. is going to allow that? That I think Pelosi is going to allow that? No, we're at a point now. Listen up, America. You say, oh, and I'll, I'll let Mark off the hook. I'll be the bad guy here. D.C. is in control of the country. D.C. controls, well, with Facebook, big tech, CNN, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, big, the big media and the big tech control the narrative. They're given the narrative by Washington. Washington tells them what speech is good. Washington tells them what speech is bad. Washington tells them what to scare the people with tonight on the news. Do you think, this is a serious question you have to ask yourself, do you think that Washington, D.C. is going to allow you, the people, to take back the House? You say, well, oh, for, it's hey, not up to them. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're not letting me off the hook. I've been preaching this stuff for a long time. And what the danger that we face, Paul just nailed, is Washington, D.C., driving the narrative to the media, the media pounding the message home. You control the message. You control the masses. Right. You control the media. You control the message. You control the message. You control the masses. This is standard communist 101. This has been going on for decades. And, Paul, you said at least a couple decades. It's been going on for 25 decades. It's taken 250 years for the country to get to where we are now. We happen to be living in our lifetimes. We're seeing the unraveling of what our founding fathers provided to us 245, 250 years ago. We're seeing it in our lifetimes. Are we going to see the saving of the republic or the death of the republic? Likely, if you are 50 years or, you know, anything under 50 or 50, you're going to see it in the next 20 years. If you're going to live to be 70, you're going to see it. We're going to see this in our lifetime happen. Okay, I don't have the answer to your question. Do I think they're going to? Here's what I will tell you that I know for sure. They're going to do everything in their power to keep it from happening. And they're going to use every one of those measures you just mentioned, big tech, you know, Facebook's, uh, you know, the Googles, you know, the rest of these clowns, the rest of these communists, all their billionaire friends. Okay. Look, none of this that happened in 2020 was a coincidence. If you think it was a coincidence, man, I will sell you the bridge over the river Kwai and it's in Kansas and I'll give it to you for dirt cheap because I own it. This didn't just happen, Paul. And, you know, when coincidences begin to line up, it's a legitimate question to say, hey, wait a minute, are these coincidences? So it's fascinating, no question about it, but they are going to make it very, very difficult. I don't know how they're going to do it, 
House races, individual House races are a hell of a lot different than a national election, but we know what they're trying to do to our elections by taking over the state control at the federal level, which would wipe out a Republican or a conservative president ever again in our lifetimes. Go ahead. No, you're absolutely right. And if folks, here's the deal. If they, can, if they can stuff the ballot boxes for a presidential election, they can stuff them for a congressional election. If you allow the same vote watch poll watchers uh, that uh, were so spot on in Atlanta and Philadelphia to count your votes for you, you don't have a prayer. You do not have a prayer. Atlanta will decide who your senator is going to be. Philadelphia et al., Chicago, that's who's going to decide it for you. And until we decide as a nation that we're fed up and we're not going to put up with it anymore. But, brother, 18 months into, 19 months into this, this, this freaking hoax, this, this freaking manufactured virus, uh, we're, I'm still seeing people now walking around. Yeah, I, you know, we're in a tourist area. Uh, in the summertime, at least people don't, <laughs> there's no tourists here in the winter, uh, <laughs> but in the summertime, people show up from all over California and Colorado and, and at all. And I see them in the, in the grocery store with their mask on. I'm like, are you mm-hmm. in, in literally insane? Mm-hmm. Are you, are you a lunatic? I, I'll give you a great example of lunatic behavior. Some, I guess, I don't know who, where she was from. Woman brings in her own grocery bags. She goes, I'm going to save the planet by using my own recycled grocery bags. Okay, great. She brings in. She her was from San bag. Francisco, dude. Her decorative grocery bags. Walks around the grocery store with a mask on the whole time. I'm like, uh-huh. lady, you just brought germs in on your bags. You brought the germs in on your bags. Set them on the counter. You, you touch, touch, touch everything that everybody else touch, touch, touch. Just put it in your little baggie, and you take it out to your car, then you take your mask off. What do you think you're accomplishing with your face diaper? Nothing. She's a sucker, and she's proving that there's Nothing. a moron born every minute. But we're, we're getting ready to take a break. But let me say this. This is about power. Don't believe me, listeners? We've had the flu kill tens of thousands of Americans annually in this country for decades, forever. Haven't heard anything about the flu lately from the CDC because they're more worried about telling you, you know, what can open and what can't open and all these things that they have nothing to do with. But nonetheless, how come we haven't been wearing masks for the flu if they're so effective? Or are we now good? This is all about power. And the people that are exercising that power and don't want to lose it are the ones that hate your guns and are trying to disarm you. Coincidence? You're a fool. As host of this program, I am proud, very proud, to welcome Daniel Defense to our airwaves. Founded in 2001 by President and CEO Marty Daniel, Daniel Defense is now the world's leading manufacturer of the finest AR-15 style rifles, AR style pistols, bolt action rifles, and accessories for civilian, law enforcement, and military customers. Daniel Defense is a family owned and privately held firearms manufacturer in black at Creek, Georgia, not far from these AAR studios. 20 years of manufacturing freedom has evolved into one of the most respected and recognizable firearms the world has ever seen. All Daniel Defense products carry a lifetime warranty, and the Daniel Defense name remains unmatched in quality, precision, and world-class customer service. To learn more, visit DanielDefense.com. That's DanielDefense.com. Car, the 25th anniversary K9 and the venerable P9 in various configurations. Magnum Research, the classic Desert Eagle available in 50, 44, 357, and the new 429 DE calibers. The BFR, biggest, finest revolvers, and the Magnum Light. Auto Ordnance, the classics. Thompson, that's right, the Tommy Gun. The incredible M1 carbine and the one and only classic 1911. Car Firearms, a family of brands standing for your family's freedom. 
The North American Arms 32 NAA Guardian Pistol, designed in partnership with Convoy Ammunition. The 32 NAA fires a cartridge based on the 380 case, but neck down to hold the smaller 32 bullet. The result is a remarkable gain of ballistic performance that produces more velocity, energy, and stopping power than any conventional 32 ACP, 380 ACP, or 380 ACP plus P. The 32 NAA from North American Arms. For more information, please visit NorthAmericanArms.com. That's NorthAmericanArms.com. Hey guys, it's Mark, and you know, from listening to the program, you're very well aware that our partner, GunBroker.com, is celebrating over 20 years in business, but what you didn't know is there are now over 6 million registered users. 6 million registered users. Think about that for a second. And it gets better, because those 6 million registered users can view over 1 million items listed every single day. 1 million items every single day. I promise that what you can't find on your store shelves, you can find at GunBroker.com. And you will. It's real simple to register. Visit GunBroker.com today to get started. 100% free. Always will be. It's well known that we live in a world where even good police officers can become targets for frivolous lawsuits. At X Insurance, we provide custom liability insurance for police officers to eliminate your exposure, to help prevent you from becoming a target, and to protect you from unscrupulous lawyers. And if lawsuits do arise, we aggressively fight them. We do this in part by encouraging our law enforcement clients to take the X Insurance See It, Say Something pledge. We're the very best at what we do, and we've been doing it for more than 40 years. We offer same-day quotes and solutions, so call us today or have your insurance agent call us, and we can work with them to fill any gaps in your existing insurance policy. But call today, and let's get that target off your back. At X Insurance, we believe in good police officers, and we believe in protecting good police officers. For more information, visit xinsurance.com. That's xinsurance.com. America was founded through the blood of hard-fighting, hard-drinking men. Men who believed in freedom and whiskey. Who laid down their lives and their fortunes forging the bedrock of this republic and in doing so created a new species of man, the American. Lead Slinger's Whiskey was founded by seven combat veterans who were tired of people afraid to support the Second Amendment. Together, they brought their love of American bourbon whiskey to freedom-loving, like-minded Americans. For more information and to read the story of Lead Slinger's Whiskeys and Rum, visit LeadSlingersWhiskey.com today. This segment of Armed American Radio's Daily Defense is being brought to you by Daniel Defense. Visit DanielDefense.com. Now, back to the show. Daniel Defense. There's a couple folks that are watching the show that are commenting, which, by the way, you can do. You can watch the program at ArmedAmericanRadio.com, or you can watch it on Facebook.com slash OpsLens, O-P-S-L-E-N-S, or you can download the OpsLens app. You can also watch us on Apple TV, Roku TV, your Fire Stick, whatever it is you want to do, and check out the show. And you get the fun, con- you know, get the content in between the, the breaks. You get the raw stuff talking back and forth. Before I go any further with Paul, though, let me please remind you to please visit all of our sponsors. It's, they're all available for you at armedamericanradio.com. You can see them at armedamericannews.com. And remember that all of this is presented to you by X Insurance. This is not third-party membership gimmicky stuff. This is a policy for all aspects of your life. Your toys, your lifestyle, you jump out of airplanes, X got you covered. You fly the planes that people jump out of, X got you covered. You stand on the ground and take pictures of the people and might get hit by somebody whose chute didn't open, X got you covered. You see where I'm going with this? You a cop, X has you covered. Carry a firearm, X has you covered. X insurance is real insurance for real people, and it's real insurance. That's the word, real insurance. Make sure to check them out and visit us at the booth. I don't have the number yet. I'll let you know what booth number it is the weekend of Labor Day at Houston if you're going to be at the NRA convention. The Daniel Defense Rifle, Patriot, you have five days. And a couple of you I've noticed in there were doing that. So please make sure to go in there and put the code, their secret code, Patriot, when you click on the Daniel Defense logo on either of my websites, armedamericanradio.com or armedamericannews.com. It takes you right to the site at Daniel Defense. Just click the little link that says secret code and enter the code Patriot, 1,000 entries. Don't waste this amazing opportunity. Paul Markle, student of the gun. Welcome back. Am I eligible to win the Daniel Defense Gun? I don't see why you wouldn't be. Go ahead. Get in there. (laughs) Jump all over it, brother. (laughs) Hey, uh, 308 Winchester, this came up during the break. 308 Winchester, 65 Creedmoor, same round. Barrel swap? Well, I mean, you know. Between the two? You had a. 
Yeah, probably. Oh, you should go take it to your gunsmith. Oh, but yeah, it's a short action. You know, okay. You're doing a, you're talking about a bullet gun, a 308 is a short action, uh, 30 out six is a long action. So six, five Creedmoor is a short action bolt gun. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah. Greg, does that answer your question? Okay. Greg's good to rock and roll. And he was asking me, I've got so many guns on the Daniel defense list that I want, which would be like all of them. But oh, I don't even know where to start. The DD5, V5, and the V7 are amazing as well, too, when you get into the uh, AR-10 platforms. But that's a different show for a, for a different day. Paul, um, let's go to Cuomo quickly. Unless you want to put, 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 go ahead and put an end to where we were. No, and then let's move no, over to no. Cuomo. Go ahead. Cuomo. Cuomo. New York. The level of arrogance. But this ties in to what we were talking about when you were talking about, we, we talked about the election, do you think they're going to let you do this? Explain to me why, in your mind, the Democrats are taking down Cuomo, who just 12 months ago they were fawning all over like he was the governor of the world, okay? Now he's down, yeah. and the Democrats are kicking him in the teeth, which is a beautiful thing to see. These are the sleaziest people in the world, these Cuomos. But why are they doing this? What's their strategy here? You know what's sick to me is this guy could put your could forcibly put your grandparents infected into a nursing home mm-hmm. and just let them die and did and, and did and and did and got away with it. But he gets accused of grabbing fannies and and giving unwanted kisses or whatever, and he, now he's got to go. So this is the America in which we live. Your governor can literally send grandma and grandpa to a COVID concentration camp for them to die, and they can still be the governor. But if they're giving unwanted kisses and and grabbing fannies and copping feels, they got to go. Does that seem like an upside-down morality to you? Well, of course it is. Killing grannies and slapping fannies was the meme the other day. Let's put this in this perspective. Let's now take this to Chicago. That very theme, let's move it over to Chicago. Terrible situation in the Windy City. I wrote a column about it today, if you're interested. A good one over at uh, Armed American News. To the people of Chicago. I wrote it to the people of Chicago. Because it's time. And what you're talking about here is very similar, where you've got... Democrat, Lori Lighthead, who gets a pass from the media, which enables her, because no normal human being with any sense of shame, character, decency, or integrity could stand up in front of a camera, Paul, every day and blame someone else for the carnage, the human death toll in their city if they were running it and get away with it. But they get away with it with impunity. They do it with impunity day after day after day. Why? It's that same mentality that you were just talking about within the party that allows Cuomo to kill grannies and slap fannies. And it's not until he's slapping fannies does he get ousted. And here we have a, a terrible situation in Chicago that thankfully, thank God, is getting at least now a heck of a lot more recognition than it ever did before. We've been talking about it for over a decade on this program, and, and we've been monitoring the death count in that city for years and years and years. But now you have a dead cop, 29 years old, who just gave birth, just got off maternity leave two months earlier, dead. And at what point does the city stand up and say, enough? And how do Never. they do it? How do they get rid of Cuomo? But it's the same thing. How do they do it? How do they do it? I don't think they will. It's like, all right, why, why does California burn every summer? Every summer it burns, every single one it does. And they write newspaper articles and they go on TV. They, they you know, they, they moan and they, they rub their hands together and they're like, oh, this is so terrible. It's so terrible. It's so terrible. Yeah, and we know that. Mm-hmm. And we know how to fix it, but you won't because that's not part of your political agenda. So Bingo. there you go. They will never fix it because their agenda is fear because Democrats, criminals, and terrorists are all on the same side. They all work together. 
<laughs> they never met a crook. Democrats never met a criminal they didn't love. Are you kidding me? Let him out. You, Pay his bail. You're the vice president of the United States who couldn't get 1% yeah. of her own party in the primaries is paying bail to let him out of the yep. streets. Their biggest loudmouth, Bush, in St. Louis. I have 70000 in security because my body is worth it. If it costs me 200000 then that's what I'll pay. And we, yes, have to defund the police. And there's a sucker moron born every day that buys into this stuff. Here's the deal. Chicago, in order to clean yourself up, I talked a little bit about it in my piece today. Go check it out. I wrote a piece to the people of Chicago. It's going to take more than the people in Chicago. There are too many stupid idiots in Chicago that are continue to vote these morons in. It's going to take an effort from around the state. Residents from the state are going to have to go to Chicago and fix this problem. And we'll help you. People like us, millions upon millions of, upon millions of Americans, will do our level best to help you oust this regime, this machine. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be easy. Paul, it's a legitimate question to ask. Why do they? What, what is it about their agenda that wants our guns? We've only got ten seconds. Go ahead. <laughs> That's easy because they intend to do something for which you would shoot them. Armed American Radio's Daily Defense going to get up and do it again. Hard hitting with Paul. Paul, I should keep you on all week this week. We could just have a blast. Paul Markle, student of the gun. Make sure to get the Daniel Defense giveaway. It's Patriot. Visit my website. You'll see the link. Click it. Enter the code Patriot. Win the gun. I want to give it to you. Paul, go ahead and sign up. Thanks to all the thousands of you who have. Armed American Radio's Daily Defense going to be back again tomorrow because they don't want us to carry on, carry often, carry absolutely everywhere. Never leave your cave without your club. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you on the radio. You've just filled your prescription for freedom with Mark Walters, presented by X-Insurance. X-Insurance. On the Armed American Radio Network. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my new product, My Slippers. They took me over two years to develop because I didn't want just an ordinary slipper. My Slippers are meant to be worn all day long, no matter what you're doing, whether you're inside or outside. My Slippers come with an exclusive three-tier cushioning system that you won't find in any other slipper. It combines two layers of foam, including my proprietary My Pillow foam and a patented impact gel made from U.S. soybeans. My three-tier cushioning system is going to help relieve pressure points, provide that my micro support you need for all day comfort and help prevent fatigue. Not only that, my slippers are made with high quality leather and a premium indoor outdoor sole that make them extremely durable. I personally guarantee they're going to be the most comfortable slippers you'll ever own. Hey, it's Mark and you know Mike supports the right to keep and bear arms and we support Mike. Please visit MyPillow.com and click on the radio listener specials box and use promo code AAR for all of Mike's great discounts or call 800-978-9358 and remember use promo code AAR. It's the Bill of Rights, not the Bill of Needs. I'm Alan Gottlieb, founder of the Second Amendment Foundation. When someone says, we don't need that kind of gun, remind them the Founding Fathers determined what rights our Constitution should protect. There's a world of difference between rights and needs. It is not the function of government to tell us what we need or what we don't. Certainly no one needs an assault rifle or a Saturday Night Special, or for that matter, no one needs a Corvette with a high-capacity horsepower engine capable of speeds to 150 miles per hour. But in the hands of honest, responsible individuals, we have the right of choice. We have the right to read books others don't like. We have the right to listen to any radio program we choose. We have the right to dress the way we want to. We also have the right to own firearms of our choice. So the next time someone tells you, you don't need something, tell them. It's the Bill of Rights, not the Bill of Needs. Join the Second Amendment Foundation today so that this message and our Bill of Rights might live. Call 425-454-7012. That's 425 Four five four seventy twelve.